Okay, so let's expand on this concept of ramping up your metabolism with activity, with exercise. And I think it's helpful to, to picture a dramatic example of what not to do, which is what most people do, and that is they, they ride or drive to work, and they sit at a desk or computer all day, and then they ride or drive home, have a meal, and sit and watch TV for a couple hours, and then go to bed. And then they repeat, and they do this over and over again, day after day. Um, so these people really aren't placing much energy demand on their bodies and over the course of time the less demand you place in your bodies the slower the metabolism goes and over the course of time you actually develop a lower metabolism just by virtue of your lifestyle. So we really need to place a demand of ener energy on our bodies by engaging in some kind of exercise activity. And again in the person in my example of riding to work and uh, resting all the time uh, just walking, biking, uh, cardio of some sort, even lifting weights or circuit training, some sort, some activity would be a nice minimum, right? But when it comes to burning fat, and we're talking about wellness weight loss, we're talking about fat loss, if you remember. So burning calories isn't the same thing as burning fat. You might be burning enough calories, but you're not burning fat. And some of you know what I'm talking about. You're not tapping into those, what we call non-essential fat stores. So we want to talk on the next couple uh, chapters here about uh, how do we tailor our exercise regimen to burning fat so it's efficient for us.